Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you heard in part one, uh, both Bob Turner here and Gordon Boyd, members of the Charter Review Commission, really laid out very comprehensively, by the way, I really want to compliment you both on that, what they've learned over the last 18 months in recommending that we change the form of government in Saratoga. And I didn't want to cut that conversation short, uh, but there were actually two other things that I wanted to talk about. Um, advocacy is, that's, first, it's a hard word for me to say, as you just found out. But secondly, um, it's time Saratoga versus success versus, uh, versus success Saratoga versus the Charter Review Commission. Um, the, the water's getting very muddied there as mm -hmm. to which one is the uh, appointed by the city, which one is uh, advocacy. <laughs> you say that word for advocacy. me. Advocacy. Thank yeah. you very much. For the change of government and the one that's not. Okay. It's Time Saratoga is an advocacy organization. They're campaigning for a yes vote on the city charter. Mm -hmm. The Charter Review Commission, of which Bob and I are both members, is a, an entity created within city government by the mayor under the existing charter. Under state law and the city's procedures, we are not allowed to spend taxpayer money advocating for the charter, so we have not. I'm the mm -hmm. treasurer of the commission, and all the expenditures we've made have been in order to inform the public what is in the charter. Mm -hmm. We held an open house in March. We submitted for reimbursement of that. We got reimbursed. We have uh, sent a mailing out to every voter that includes all of the language in the charter, the fiscal analysis, and a summary memorandum, and a letter from, from Bob, and it does not say anywhere in there, vote for this charter. It's not an advocacy document. It's just mm -hmm. informational. So our job is to inform the voters what is in the charter it's time saratoga separate group is campaigning to get and they're the really vote. advocating for the change absolutely that's what they want now there's been some talk that they received some outside money from an organization uh, i think that that's perfectly legal at least what i saw unless sure. i'm wrong oh yeah it's legal and the, the the association they received that from is a professional association of uh, that advocates good government and city mm -hmm. professional management so mm -hmm. they they were able to get a grant to support the campaign, and I know they're very grateful for that. But again, that's not the Charter Commission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you feel very confident in saying that the Charter has not done any, spent a dime advocating for yes or for no. Uh, if it, if it had, charge. I would have known about it, and I can say it did not happen. Okay, then I Bob, answer the one question. Yeah. I did go to Facebook, and I did see vote yes mm -hmm. on there. How did that pop up there? So there's a private city, it's Facebook. So there's yeah, a private right, citizen right. group that formed it that was not aware of what the rules were for these things. Again, no public money was spent, and it's free. But I think, I think really the, the larger story here is that there's been a, you know, a pattern of interference by the city council, certain three of the city council members, mm -hmm. in the day-to-day -day operations of our, of our commission. You know, when we tried to find out how many audits the city has done, they wouldn't release that information. Mm -hmm. When we tried to... Um, Again, sent this mailing out to the citizens. Right? They tried. They tried to block it. Again, they've had their city council meeting. They've they've called us vile. Um, they've said all sorts of terrible things. And I think it's really um, again it runs counter to the spirit of the New York State law, and uh, it really kind of has interfered the. Uh, in the independence of the commission. Well, you know, a, a human nature being what it is, I can understand why it, at one point it does get more emotional than it, than it probably should. I know that they have their own opinions about that, Bob. Mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, I try not to get in the weeds on this stuff. I, I just really wanted to clear that, that up because yep. that was something that I was getting a lot of information about from voters and also from people on both sides of the issue. And when I looked, I just wanted for a point of clarification because, sure. uh, you know, and that's why I asked you that question, yeah. Gordon. You're the treasurer. If you're confident that no money has been spent to advocate for this change, but yet 
the money was spent to educate wherever it was possible, we, that's, I'm fine with that. State law requires us to educate the voters. So yes, we're actually right. had to comply with the state law and getting that information out. It was the city council that tried to stand in the way of that mm -hmm. and, and prevent us from doing the job that we're required to do. Yeah, I've got you. All right, we've got a couple of days left before people actually vote on this. Um, what are you hoping to accomplish in, in these days? Um, I would love if all the all your viewers were to go to my Facebook page, learn about the Saratoga Springs Charter. I have a series of short um, educational videos uh, with me and a chalkboard, uh, doing my best Glenn Beck impression uh, for, for voters to learn what's in there and inform themselves. Now, in case you don't know his day job, he's a professor at Skidmore. Uh, watching a video of a professor with a chalkboard, I mean, who sponsored this one? Five hour energy drink or something? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> but are they short enough? They're, yeah. they're all under a minute. <laughs> oh, they are, okay. <laughs> However, I would recommend that you go to saratogacharter.com, right? And you can find out a lot of information yeah, right. there as well. Well, we're coming down into the home stretch. You guys have put a ton of work into this. Really, compliments to both of you and everyone on the commission, I'm sure. Well, and thanks to Look but TV really for are. all of the time and attention that you've given it to, because I know a lot of people uh, that I've talked to uh, knocking on doors have seen the material that you've put up oh, and been very appreciative of the information. Great. Well, yeah. it's in, it's, it's our future, right? Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's, right. that's the way it's supposed to work at yeah, any right. rate. All right, guys, best of luck. Thank Thanks. you. You're welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Exceptional products. Expert design. Experienced professionals. An American Buildings Company authorized builder can turn your dream of a new building into a reality. Because ABC Builders are local contractors, they know your market and can handle your project from beginning to end. So if you're ready today, your ABC Builder is building tomorrow. Call Munter Enterprises, 518-584-6174.